I looked at Tori's stomach, and now she has a heart and axe on her stomach now. <sighs> oh, good. She's waking up. <sighs> Is it over? Did he finish? Yes. You're starting to wake up, Tori. Do I have a heart and axe on my stomach now? Yeah, take a look. Oh, goody! Wow. I absolutely do have a heart and axe on my stomach. Yep. Ah, I've seen that you've woken up, Tori. Yeah. Now, you may feel weak and tired because of the surgery that absolutely went on. And you're going to have to stay in the hospital for tonight. Oh, okay. And I've heard that you have ice powers. Yeah, I had ice powers. Yeah, I told Dr. Sean before the surgery started. Oh, well, okay. And one more thing, Tori. Me and the nurses will take care of you with food, water, and a nice television to keep you company. Ah, uh, well, okay. And DLR will visit you tomorrow morning. Ah, uh, well, okay. I'll totally accept that. Great. What time are you going to be here to visit her? Um, I'll be there at, uh... 6 o'clock a.m. All right, perfect. Okay, that's perfect. And, um, during the middle of the night, the nurses might absolutely do some blood work where they absolutely put a needle on your arm and they absolutely, like you know, suck the blood out of it. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, remember that. I will remember that. Good. And do you fully understand of what I'm trying to say to you because you're staying in the hospital tonight? I understand. Good. DLR, you can always keep her company all day. But when, it was, but when it's time for bed, you'll, you're going to have to leave. I truly do understand, Dr. Sean. Good. Now, I'll give you, like you know, some lunch, okay? Okay, thanks, Doctor. Well, how does it feel to have a heart and X on your stomach now? Oh, it feels really good. Awesome. Now, let's have a chit-chat while you're, like you know, resting in the hospital since you're weak and tired. Uh, okay.